Axolotls are a common research animal that have been used for over 180 years to study basic things like how we get an arm and how we get a heart and how we get a brain. And since then, we've now studied more sophisticated animals like rats, but we're still interested in salamanders because some of the tricks that they can perform. And one of those tricks that they can do is that they can regenerate an, an arm or any part of an arm that's missing or cut off, even as an adult animal. Did you get it or did you miss it? Yes. You missed it. There you go. Right now, these are animals that look a lot like baby salamanders, but they're adult animals. They are sexually mature and they are the form that reproduces, that we use to reproduce and make other animals. Over the years, scientists have documented many different traits in axolotls, and about 30 years ago, a paper came out that said, you know, we, we think we found almost all the traits, all the mutations that are relevant. And then about six years ago, students working with me here at Blackburn College discovered a new trait. And that trait is a very unusual thing about how they breathe. And these animals, although they have the big fluffy gills that you can see on the back edge of their head, they also have lungs. And the trait that we discovered was that salamanders, certain ones, are holding their breath for periods of up to a year or more. Well, if you and I tried to hold our breath for any long period of time, even of five minutes, we would discover quickly that need to keep breathing. But they can pull that off because they've got these gills that provides oxygen for them even though they're holding their breath. And what we're trying to discover right now in research I'm conducting with my student Tim Erton this summer is whether or not these animals are holding their breath because they are choosing to do so or whether or not they're holding their breath because they can't use their lungs to breathe in and out. In the biology department, it's especially important to work with research, in research. Uh, I'm going to be going to medical school and one of the big things that they look at is uh, research experience and we're doing experiments here with the floaters and we go straight through the scientific method of hypothesis uh, experiments and eventually we'll get to a conclusion.